This was the capital of Pakistan, Karachi. Ever since the partition of the subcontinent, Karachi was made capital of industry business and administration. In 1958, Ayub Khan, the president of Pakistan, faced issues regarding the capital of Pakistan. Karachi was an old city, with old buildings, with too many refugees and business. This new capital had to be safe and centrally located. Because Karachi was a port city, and the other thing was that it was the case 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 that it तो वो सबसे पहले बुलेटिनेबल होगा तो किसी ऐसी जगह इस्लामाबाद को ये दारुकुमत का शिफ्ट किया जाए कि जो महफूज हो और जहाँ तक पहुँचना और जहाँ तक जहाज़ों की पहुँच और बाकी मिसाइलों की पहुँच है वो बहुत कम हो। After research and advice of experts, the land of Patihar Plateau in the north of Rawalpindi and the south of Margrela Hills was found to be suitable. इस इलाके को منتخب کیا گیا تھا جو کہ اسلام آباد کا علاقہ ہے اور یہ اس وقت بالکل ایک جنگل سا ہوتا تھا پہاڑی پیکروس جس کے نسل تھا مرتفع کا علاقہ تھا لیکن تھا خوبصورت اور ہمالائز کے نیچے تھا ایک طرف تو ہمالائز کی دیوار ہمالیا کی بہت بڑی دیوار اس کو ملتی تھی اور دوسرا یہ تھا کہ وہ انڈیا کے مختلف سے ہوائی اڈوں اور بندرگاہوں اور اس کے بحری اڈوں سے بالکل دور تھا In the start of 1960, President Ayub Khan's cabinet came up with the name of the new capital, Islamabad. Islamabad, the federal capital of the country. Islamabad is the power hub and the center of administration of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Politically, Islamabad is the center of power, with all of the offices of the highest officials. जो सबसे पहले कि यहाँ की जो कचहरी थी वो एक सरकारी घर में हुआ करती थी जो आपारा के पास होता था और उस वक्त के पहले मजिस्ट्रेट जो थे वो जमान साहब थे तो इस तरह का इस्लामाबाद का स्टार्टिंग थी The Prime Minister's office is the Pakistan government's office responsible for coordinating the work of all government ministries, divisions, autonomous organizations, and assisting the Prime Minister of Pakistan in his daily agenda. The Supreme Court of Pakistan is situated on the Constitution Avenue and is flanked by the Prime Minister's Secretariat to the south and the President's House and the Parliament Building to the north. Islamabad is so much more than a political hub. Islamabad is beautiful and one of the most famous touristic spots of Pakistan. The eye-popping Shah Faisal Mosque is located at the foot of Margrela Hills. It is one of Asia's largest and reflects an electric blend of ultra-modern and traditional architectural design. Topped by sloping roofs and the main prayer hall and courtyard is said to hold around 100,000 people. Most of its cost was a gift from King Faisal of Saudi Arabia, 
whose name was given to the mosque. Located at the west viewpoint of the Chakraparian Hills in Islamabad, the magnificent Pakistan Monument represents the cultural heritage and the history of Pakistan. This architectural marvel commemorates the martyrs who sacrificed their life for the country and symbolizes the patriotism of the Pakistani people. picnic spot and a lookout on the Margrella Hills has panoramic views all over the capital. on the rare clear day south to the salt range. It's a splendid spot to get a sense of the city's layout with the Shah Fassel Mosque and a breathtaking sight. The Murgola Hills National Park instituted in 1980 comprises the Murgola Hills, the Ravel Lake, and Shakarparian. The Murgrela Hills have several hiking trails with countless springs. These trails give magnificent sights to see. These spots are without any doubt the best sights to get close to Mother Nature. Bruti is one of the most famous waterfalls that exists in Murgrela Hills. It takes almost one and a half hours hiking to the amazing turquoise colored ponds. The place is surrounded by old trees, which makes the place all the more stunning. Ravel Lake was built in 1962 by the Punjab government after it was decided that the country's new capital needed a water reservoir due to water shortage in the area.
Today, Ravel Lake is one of the most famous viewpoints of Islamabad. Job Irrigation Department's Small Dam Organization, SDO for short, still manages the water levels, spillways, and other relevant technical aspects of the Ravel Dam. The fascinating thing about the Heritage Museum is that it presents history and living traditions of the people of Pakistan both from the mainstream and of the remotest regions of the country. The primary purpose of the museum is to educate and edify present and future generations of Pakistan and create a treasure house for the nation more valuable than any vault of any bank in the world. The Heritage Museum is the first state museum of ethnology in Pakistan, which presents the history and living traditions of the people of Pakistan. both which from the mainstream and the remotest regions of the country. The location of the landmark achievement at Islamabad enriches the federal capital and adds a lot to its attractions. बड़े हिस्टोरिकल जगह भी हैं जो कि बुद्धा के दौर से चलती भी आ रही हैं फिर उसके बाद राजा रंजीत सिंह का दौर भी गुजरा यहां पे बड़े सिख और हिंदू उन हिंदुओं का भी बड़ा एक जमाने में झगड़ा भी हुआ Among the many forgotten relics spread across the dry and arid land of Padahar Plateau is Ravat Fort, which lies about 18 kilometers east of Rawalpindi on GT Road. The etymology of the word Ravat is used to trace back to the Arabic word Rabat, which means Sarai in Urdu. A roadside inn for travelers. Contemporary historians have also included that the building's design resembles a sarai rather than a fort. Historically, many of these roadside inns lined the GT road and were used by invaders from Central Asia and Afghanistan. According to traditions, Ravad Fort was built by the Gukkar tribe in the 16th century. The region is also have said to have been the battleground between the Gukkar chief Sultan Srang Khan and Sher Shah Suri in 1546 AD.
Sedpur, the village is estimated to be around 400 years old and has been part of a number of civilizations including Gandhara, the Greeks, the Buddhists, Ashoka and the colonial period. The village is named after Sultan Said Khan, son of Sultan Sarang Khan, the Gakkar chief of the Patahar region, who ruled Atak to Jhelum during the region of Mughal Emperor Babur. यहाँ पे गुरुद्वारा यहाँ पे मंदिर यहाँ पे मस्जिद आपको पुरानी बड़ी हिस्टोरिक वो मिलेंगी और एक जमाना था मैं खुद कभी ट्रैकिंग पे ऊपर जाता था पहाड़ों पे तो सैदपुर का एक कुआं था बरसात में वो कुआं ओवरफ्लो करता था हम हाथ से पानी उसमें से उठा के पीते थे क्योंकि वो ऊपर से फ्लो ओवरफ्लो करता था पानी की इतनी मकदार हुआ करती थी Khan later gifted the village to his daughter who was married to Mughal emperor Jahangir Jahangir's memoir Tuske Jangiri mentions him residing at a place beyond Rawalpindi on his way to Kabul, this place believed to be Sedpur. Raja Man Singh convert the village into a place for Hindus to worship. This region is home to too many Hindu temples that have been preserved and depict the history of Hindu civilization and architecture in the region. Pir Sayyid Abdul Latif Shah Qadri Kalandri, often referred to as Bari Imam or Bari Sarkar, or reverentially as Sheikh Shah Abdul Latif by Sunni Muslims of the Indian subcontinent, was a 17th century Sunni Muslim ascetic. Mystic of Western Punjab, who is venerated today as the patron saint of Islamabad, Pakistan. Born in Kursal in 1617 to a family descended from Muhammad, the life of Bari Imam is known through essentially the oral tradition and hagiographical booklets and celebrated in numerous songs of Indian and Pakistani Sufism. In present day, Bari Imam is the most popular and widely venerated saint of Western Punjab. At the foot of Murgrala Hills is the shrine to Bari Imam, Hazrat Shah Abdul Latif Kazmi. <laughs> Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb, who was devoted to spreading his empire, he originally built. The silver mirrored shrine of Hazrat Bari Imam. It has been renovated since and is now maintained by the government of Pakistan. The shrine is a tourist spot in the tour guide's list. <laughs> Golra Sharif is another important shrine in the Islamabad area. It is the home of a living peer. 
Mayor Ali Shah decided to settle here. Goldra was the headquarters of six subdivisional officer. Earlier, this area had been ruled by the Afghans. But on the death of Ahmed Shah Abdali towards the end of 18th century, Ranjit Singh, the Afghan appointed governor of Punjab province, declared his independence and angsed the Golra area into his domain. About a million pilgrims visit Golra Sharif every year. The present pair is grandson dynasty's founder, Hazrat Mahir Ali Shah, who lived early this century and was a mystic poet and religious scholar who performed miracles. He was also renowned for having a beautiful melodious voice. The Gora Sharif Railway Station, located on the outskirts of Islamabad, provides a glimpse into the past. The station welcomes visitors with a panoramic view of old Bayan trees, steam engines, a small Victorian style building, and a serene environment. Established in 1881 and upgraded to a junction in 1912, the Gora Sharif Railway Station has been used by the surrounding villages for over a century. Established in October 2003, the museum is truly one of a kind, not limited to a closed hall. It includes old locomotive trains, steam engines, and lifters stationed at the platform. Today the Gora Sharif Railway Station is known more for the Railway Heritage Museum it houses than for being a stop for travelers. Though the museum was extended few years back with more historical pieces,
वेलकम टू डेरा गड़ियाला पुता के शाल अदिता के साधु का बाग Strikingly, the old village is titled after a well-known Mughal dervish, Shah Aladitta, and holds a significant presence for its evergreen historical background. This is Shah Aladitta town. This place is called Shah Aladitta. Shah Aladitta's history is about 600-600 years old. Before this, the name of this area was called Injira. ये पहाड़ों पे आबादी थी अभी भी इन पहाड़ों पे आसार हैं आबादी के मकाना की बुनियादें नजर आती हैं पुरानी अच्छा अब ये ओवर टाइम फिर क्या हुआ कि ये जगह जो है जब बुद्धिज्म वगैरह फैला इस इलाके में तो यकीनन ये जगह जो थी ये जो बुद्धिस्ट मॉन्स थे उनके लिए एक अच्छी जगह बन गई तो उन्होंने वहाँ रहना शुरू कर दिया इसके साथ साथ फिर ये हुआ कि जब वक्त बदला तो जो लास्ट नोन इसके जो ऑक्यूपेंट्स हैं ना देवर देवर ए मिक्स क्रीड ऑफ हिंदू एंड सिख देर इज ए नेम फॉर सच क्रीड हु एक्चुअली वेयर नो क्लोज एंड एक्चुअली यू नो अपने जिसम को राख मल कर वो चेहरे पे भी अजीब और गरीब करके तो ये उस तरह के एक जो कैरेक्टर्स थे एक हुई उस लिव दे सो दे कंटिन्यू टू होल्ड दैट प्लेस टिल 47 47 में दे रैन और इधर कोई लोगों का कब्जा हो गया और ये जो लोग आज बैठे हैं दे आर द डिसेंडेंट ऑफ दोज हु एक्चुअली निगोशिएटेड एट द टाइम ऑफ पार्टीशन विद दैम ये केव उन्नीस में एक हिंदू का डेरा था हमने अपने बुज़ुर्गों से सुना है कि वो हिंदू एक साधु था उसका एक वो जिस तरह हमारे को होते हैं ना मौलवी हजरात बड़े वो इस तरह हिंदुओं का एक बड़ा साधु था वो वो जिस तरह वो लाश को करते हैं ना जलाते हैं नीचे एक जगह है झाड़ियाँ नाम है उस जगह का वहाँ वो मैत को जलाते थे इधर आके वो कुछ पढ़ते पढ़ाते थे इस पानी में फिर वो राख उसकी बातें थे Shah Aladitta remained in the center of attraction in different epochs of rising religions in the subcontinent. Today Islamabad is home to more than 1 million people. It is Pakistan's most diverse metropolis in terms of population makeup. مختلف شہروں مختلف ادھر سے آئے ہیں ان میں آپ کے پاکستان کے ہر زبان بولنے والا آپ کو یہاں پہ ملے گا اسلام آباد میں پیپل فرام ناٹ اونلی ڈفرینٹ پروونسز بٹ پیپل فرام ڈفرینٹ کنٹریز ریزائڈ ان اسلام آباد اٹ ہیز دا لارجسٹ فارنر پاپولیشن मैं पंजाब से हूँ मैं के पी के से हूँ मैं बलूचिस्तान का हूँ मैं गिलगित से हूँ मैं पिशावर से हूँ मैं वजीरिस्तान से हूँ मैं सिंध से हूँ The food and culture gives an essence of its own. Islamabad has grown to be home to not only fancy restaurants but the delicious street food from all over the country. The markets, the marketplaces in every sector remain open till late at night where people enjoy food and chilly weather of Islamabad. Islamabad is one of the most beautiful and green capitals of the world, with not only its rich importance being the political and administration center, 
Islamabad is growing a tourism hub with historical relics and beautiful views stretching all around it. This is the story of Islamabad. The meld of grandeur and power.